हेलो व्यूअर्स इन अ प्रीवियस रिकॉर्डिंग ग्रुप मल्टीप्लिकेशन टेबल ऑफ सी टू वी वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड डिस्कस्ड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द होल ग्रुप मल्टीप्लिकेशन टेबल वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑल द बाइंडरी कम्बिनेशन ऑफ द ग्रुप द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द कम्बिनेशन इज ऑप्टेन बाय एक्चुअली कैरिंग आउट द सिमिट्री ऑपरेशन ऑन द मॉलिक्यूल विच बिलोंग्स टू द पॉइंट ग्रुप नाउ इट इज लेक्चर अबाउट construction of group multiplication table for ammonia molecule according to knowledge of hybridization valence bond theory and valence shell electron pair repulsion theory the structure of ammonia molecule is pyramidal so its point group is determined as c3v it has six symmetry elements e the trivial element present in each group the identity element c3 axis of rotation with its consequence there are symmetry elements c31 and c32 that is c31 stands for a 120 degree rotation and c32 stands for a 240 degree rotation there are three vertical planes in ammonia molecule this is a molecule of ammonia with nitrogen having three hydrogen atoms h a h b and h c now we have to see that there is a c3 axis of rotation 120 degree axis of rotation and there are three vertical planes the first vertical plane that passes from nitrogen atom and hydrogen atom a this is rightly shown over here and second vertical plane sigma vb that is shown as passing from nitrogen atom and hydrogen atom b and this is third one nitrogen atom and passing from hydrogen atom c so when this passes from any of the nitrogen and hydrogen atoms the rest of the two hydrogen atoms they change their position when reflection operation is done but when any c3 axis of rotation is there then this ha that will move 120 degree to the position of hc hc will move to the position of hb and hb will move to the position of ha in the similar manner if it is a c3 2 that is 240 degree rotation then ha will rotate at 240 degree to reach at the position of hb hb will rotate at 240 degree to reach to the position of hc and hc will rotate at 240 degree to reach at the position of ha so this is the picture where we can understand the symmetry now these are the six symmetry elements that is identity element c3 1 120 degree rotation c3 2 240 degree rotation sigma v a sigma v b and sigma v c are the three vertical planes now again we will follow the same pattern we will take uh, an symmetry, uh, symmetry element from the left column and each symmetry element of the left column will be taken in a binary combination with the elements of the horizontal row and their binary operation result will be taken at the junction position as we uh, did in the earlier video of c2v also now this is the first at the uh, leftmost there is the original picture of the ammonia molecule where ha is at the leftmost hb is in the center and hc at the right on all this when identity element is operated this is doing nothing operation so it will be all the hydrogen atoms will remain at their same position now this identity element is taken from the left column first element of the left column leftmost column now identity again operated upon by identity there will be no change so the result of binary operation will be e if it is operated by c3 1 the symmetry operation that is a rotation by 120 degree and i said that i'll be taking this rotation in clockwise manner so atom ha that will change its position in a clockwise manner at 120 degree it will change the position of atom hc atom hc will take the position of atom hb and atom hb will take the position of atom ha here i talked about the very operation when identity is followed by c31 
now what we have to see we have to see the result of the binary operation in respect to the initial molecule so if we see in respect to the uh, initial molecule we found that each of the hydrogen atom has moved at 120 degrees so the result of binary operation is c31 I will summarize this slide in another manner also because here one of the operation is identity operation. So the results of all these binary operations will be the operation itself other than the identity operation. So the results are E, C31, C32, Sigma VA, Sigma VB and Sigma VC. Now the next is when the element is taken from the left column that element is C31 and that is operated upon by all the elements of the horizontal row. C31 operated by E uh, followed by E then C31 followed by C31, C31 followed by C32, C31 followed by sigma VA, C31 followed by sigma VB and C31 followed by sigma VC. When C31 is operated all these atoms they change their positions uh, at 120 degree so a goes to the position of c c goes to the position of b and b goes to the position of a that is the picture when c31 is operated when c31 has been operated and it is followed by e that does mean again nothing is done so the result is c31 only when C31 is operated and it is again operated by C31, that does mean one more 180 degree rotation needs to be given to this molecule. Now, when this uh, operation is given, then the atom B that goes to the position of atom A, that means clockwise these atoms will keep on moving. And when we see in respect to C31 followed by C31. The final picture is that the hydrogen atom C is at the leftmost. How it is related to the original molecule? It seems as if the molecule is rotated at 240 degree. So, the resultant operation is C32. Otherwise, it can also be understood in a manner that a 120 degree rotation followed by a 120 degree rotation, it is a molecule rotated at 240 degree. Now, C31 followed by C32. C31 is a 120 degree rotation. C32 is a 240 degree rotation. 120 plus 240, 360. 360 degree rotation that takes your molecule to the original position. That's why the result of the binary operation is E. Now next has to be seen very carefully. C31 is operated followed by sigma VA. So, what is sigma VA? Sigma VA is a mirror plane that is passing from nitrogen and the hydrogen atom A of the original molecule because the position of the mirror won't change. So, here what is HB is at, at the position. HB is position par hai where the mirror plane sigma VA was there. So, HB will not change its position, A and C will change their positions. Now, if we see the result of the operation C31 followed by sigma VA, here in these operations, we have to first see a thing whether all the hydrogen atoms have moved or whether any one hydrogen atom has been at its position only. Here you can rightly see that atom HC is not moved. When C31 is operated and then sigma VA is operated, atom HC is at the same position where it was in the original molecule. That does mean that it is a mirror reflection, a mirror plane uh, situated at atom NHC. So, the result is sigma VC. C31 followed by sigma VB. Now here again C31 is already clear to us that it is a 120 degree rotation. But when it is a sigma VB, sigma VB stands for that the mirror plane is there at NHB of the original molecule. There a mirror plane is there. So atom B and A, they will change their position. C31 operate hone ke baad, B and A are at their uh, at the sides they will change their position and the picture is now a c b a c b here it seems as if 
uh, in respect of the original molecule atom h a has not changed its position so when it happens it happens when the mirror plane is sigma v a and the last is c31 operated by uh, followed by sigma v c so here uh, one thing uh, more can be seen that when we are uh, seeing the binary operation of a uh, column into row the last element none of these can be repeated c31 is there c32 is there e is there sigma v c sigma v a so the last will be sigma v b one case otherwise we can solve it also and always you have to see the result of the binary operation in respect to the position of the atoms in the original molecule and that is the result so this is now c32 from the uh, left column and operated by e c31 c32 sigma v a sigma v b and sigma v c so what is first of all what is the c32 operation our molecule our atoms are moved at 120 degree a reaches to the position of b b reaches to the position of c and c reaches to the position of a this is a 120 degree rotation in a clockwise manner if identity is followed there will be no change it will be c32 only if c32 is followed by a c31 it is again in totality a 360 degree rotation it is now identity element if c32 is followed by c32 many times i tell my students that see what is the effective degree of rotation now it is c32 and c32 it is 240 plus 240 360 degree rotation will bring no change in the molecule after 360 degree there is a 120 degree rotation so the result is c31 otherwise simply you can see in this picture uh, first time c32 uh, two rotation is 240 again rotate the molecule at 240 degree and see the result with respect to the original molecule again keep in your mind if all the hydrogen atoms have changed their positions it can never be a result of a mirror plane but if any one of the hydrogen atom is at the same position as of the original then it means it is some mirror plane operated there in the resultant so you can clearly see this picture to result into the binary operations next is sigma va followed by all the symmetry elements from the horizontal row rightly you can see this that sigma v a does mean the atom at the position of the mirror plane sigma v a won't change its position other two will interchange their positions so that is the result of sigma v a further when these are followed by rotation you will give a clockwise rotation if it is a c31 give it a 120 degree rotation if it is c32 give it a 240 degree rotation so you get the respective results now when we see sigma v a followed by c31 in this case the atom at position hb or the mirror plane b that is at the same position as of the original molecule so it is sigma vb now when sigma va is followed by c32 here we find that the hc atom is at the same position as in the original and this position stands for the mirror plane sigma vc so it is the resultant sigma vc operation then if we follow any reflection plane operation in even number of times it always results into the identity element first you did the elements uh, the atoms they change their positions again you did they again reach to their original position so the identity element e results when sigma va is followed by sigma v a when sigma v a is followed by sigma v b that means first you reflected the molecule at the mirror plane a then b and c changed their positions then you reflected the molecule at mirror plane b h c will remain its position a and b will change their positions now in the resultant a b c all have moved and they have moved by a degree of 120 degree so sigma v a followed by sigma v b results in c31 when we have got five symmetry elements the last one will be c32 but so ever is left otherwise it can be solved also next is the case of sigma v b followed by all the symmetry elements it can be rightly seen minutely that you have to first operate keeping the mirror plane 
at the position sigma v b c and a will change their positions they have changed after that keep on uh, operating and sigma v b followed by e it will give you sigma v b only because identity operation does not bring any change and when sigma v b is followed by c3 one or c3 two we get the other two planes but when sigma v b is followed by sigma v a then c3 two sigma v b followed by sigma v b again even number of mirror plane uh, operation is done it will be identity and last will be c3 one and this is the last sigma v c this row particularly the last can be followed in the particular manner that when all the five are been reported last one will be the left one only because none of the symmetry element can be repeated in any row or column so this is the group multiplication table for c3v and it is a non abelian type because the identity elements are not following any uh, relation of being at the diagonal positions so here you can rightly see in any row or column none of the symmetry element is repeated but we did we took an element from the left column and we kept on Uh, multiplying it you can say or we kept on operating it with the uh, uh, at elements at the horizontal rows and the resultant binary operations were uh, put at the junction positions and in this way this complete group multiplication table that can be constructed so this is a c3v group multiplication table